Welcome back. We are here on Ethereum looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, February 23rd, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And uh, yes, my video from yesterday should, was fairly well timed because I basically said that we were about to see a pullback. And today we saw this market just absolutely technically collapse towards the 20 expansion moving average. And that is fairly interesting because I'm what I think is happening here is that people are expecting a pullback towards 20 exponential. They have basically put their orders in around this area here. And when it basically drops, it just an enormous amount of buying is occurring. So that's why we see this sudden push to the upside. But this should be another warning sign, similar to what happened here and so on. This is a very, very volatile market, which is just gone completely vertical. And everything that goes vertical, everybody that basically traded uh, GameStop, you should notice that comes crashing down at some point. Things can't go um, up forever. They will um, eventually collapse. If you look at, for example, the weekly chart, it doesn't, it, it just becomes completely ridiculous. But this was the move back in 2017. This is the move now. So we went from roughly 10,000, 11,000 in, uh, in September. And uh, now in February, we're trading at, uh, well, we're trading at 54,000. So we did fall towards 40 or yeah, roughly give it 47,000 today and then just rallied back. So if you look at technical indicators, we can see that they are turning around. So um, we could see something similar to this, pull back towards the 20 and then rally from here. It's very difficult to say whether or not we continue to rally towards the 60, um, $60,000 level at this point. Usually when you see uh, things going like this, where it's similar to that, you have like probably a few days where you constantly break down towards the same area where you basically fell to. So we could fall back towards 50,000 and then rally from here. If we break the 20 exponential moving average, we could break fall all the way down to the 50, around 39,700, which is also the previous highs here. And there should be also enormous amount of buying. So people have definitely not given up on this because you can see they know where uh, these um, support levels are and they're basically buying every single time we get to one of these support levels in order to get it as cheap as possible. So let's look at Ethereum. So very similar here, we fell well below the 20 exponential, nearly all the way down to the 50 moving average, fell to 1535 and then rallied above the 20 exponential. So it has been doing this for a really long time now. Even here when it fell, um, I don't know, but this was roughly 20%, it fell um, back in, 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 um, in November last year, it fell below the 20 exponential and then rallied. Also here, um, we also have an example that falls below the 20 and then rally. So we haven't been trading underneath the 20 exponential for, well, for a really, really long time. We have to go all the way back here in the, in the, in the, um, in September, 2020, when we're trading underneath the 20 exponential. And uh, yes, that is a very bullish shine for this cryptocurrency. However, techno indicators for Ethereum are turning around. So we could see uh, a break of the 20 exponential and head towards the 50, uh, roughly around $1,500 and then rally towards 2000. So uh, it's gonna be exciting to see what basically happens to do this crypto. So let's look at ADA. So some of these cryptocurrencies have been rallying, uh, rallying more than Bitcoin basically has. ADA is one of them, you can see how extreme this rally has been from zero back in this was in in March last year it was trading at 0 0.093 it went all the way up to 1.16 dollars so 
yes, the people that bought down here, they did a massive trade. Um, however, if you look at what happened today, we saw that the 20 exponential was massive support. So the same thing is happening here. People are um, ordering around this area here and when it falls towards the support line or the 20 exponential, it just blows up to the air again. However, I think that we're going to see a gradual grind or a bullish flag pattern uh, before we go higher from here. Technical indicators are uh, turning around and are becoming very bearish at this point. So we may see this fall even further the next few uh, trading days. So let's look at uh, Litcoin. So also Litcoin, we did fall below the 20 exponential all the way down to the previous highs here at 178, 79, give or take, and then we rallied above the 20 exponential again. At the moment, we're trading at uh, 204. Technical indicators are becoming very bearish for this uh, cryptocurrency. So we could, as the same thing here, see something similar to going back towards the 50 moving average before continuing higher. So that is down towards $163 before going higher from here. Target probably in the long run will be 250 if this current trend continues. We have had these long pullbacks towards the 50 moving average rally and then probably long back towards the 50 before we rally even higher from here. So let's look at NEO. So it has been really choppy. Um, we went all the way up to $54 and then down to $40. And now we're trading at $47. Technical indicators for this cryptocurrency are also turning around. So we may see a gradual uh, decline, decline towards $40 before continuing to the upside. Uh, we are at 69 in the RSI. We're on edge of being overbought. Uh, if we look at the weekly chart, we are... Uh, still significantly overbought and uh, yes that is most likely what is going to happen here buying it just above the 20 exponential is probably the best idea at this point if you break below the 20 exponential that opens the door to the 50 down at 27 dollars so let's look at thron Yes, so very similar thing here. We broke below the 20 exponential and then rallied. We're trading at 0 0.05 at this point. We went all the way down to 0 0.047. Technical indicators are turning around. So in general, for the cryptocurrency market, expect, um, expect a, a few days where um, they decline towards the support before rallying. If they break support, then they can go significantly lower. Here, 20 exponential is acting as support and uh, getting below, towards this area here should offer a lot of uh, support. If we break the 20 exponential, we can drop all the way down to the 50, down at 0 0.037. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.